Hey guys, welcome to th what might be the last episode, uh, well this is the last episode of Levels, this is the last level of the game, but there is still more to be done after you do the last level, which is one of the things I actually had to like about this game, was that there's still more to do after you got all this done. At least it's a long game, it's easy but it's long. Also, hard level, so don't get yourself in a bad position with this one. And also, this whole level is actually like Meta Knight's Revenge in a nutshell right here, so just making a point out of that. Really cool. But getting the treasures to remember is a pain in the ass, so yeah, be careful about that. Okay. That's also the name of that cannon, is the Combo Cannon. I actually remembered something. Yay. Is this it? No, it's not it, obviously. I don't remember how this level goes. This is one of the levels I didn't really... I might have played it multiple times, actually. I couldn't get very good with the scores in this level. Helmet, it would cover his whole freaking head. The mask only covers the front of your face. As Meta Knight is. Correctly, sneak in real fast and get extra money. Really good strategy right there. Just hurry your way in and get all the money out of the first one and sneak back and get it in the second one. Which normally when you play this level, you're supposed to get one or the other. But if you go fast, I'm gonna get both. Also, there have been millions of things I would have enjoyed more doing this thing. Level. And that's all three treasures. Actually doing good at this level. What? The hardest level of the game? I'm actually doing good. Also, this is one of the boss fights. It is the uh, Halberd's Power Core, which is actually how, how you fight it in the original game. is really, really freaking difficult to figure out, but this one is just a blast like crazy until it dies. This one the cannons out of the way. And now it should be really easy. Actually, in the normal fight, what you gotta do is you gotta get this one little laser to shoot at you and hit the thing. That was a lot more simple. A little bit longer of a fight, but a lot more simple. I wanna do the hard version. That would actually be really cool if I did the hard version the same. Oh, yeah. Finish it off strong. And that was the entire game. Besides bonus parts that aren't even levels, there's like little bonus mini games that we have to do. Unlike the other games where the mini games are just little fun versus things, this game the mini games are actual full fledged levels. Not amused. Ooh, you can.
completed medals and tunes. So that means we have all the CDs and all the medals. So I guess it is like that. It's like you just get a medal and it counts. It doesn't have to be gold. Actually, I believe if I look at uh, the 100% thing, it should say 100% to the medals. If I can get to say 100% in all of them, that should be enough. Yep. There it is. 100% metal, 100% tunes, 100% flicks, which means you got 100% of the cutscenes. And these things is nothing. Look, I asked. What? Oh, I know what I'm missing. Uh, like Zeke, there's like more characters like that. That's what would require unlocking to meet. I don't understand why I haven't unlocked any of them yet. I usually unlock them like halfway through the game. Unless I have to use Zeke a little bit in uh, minigames. And the rest of this episode will be entirely Zeke. So if you don't like watching the same thing over and over again, don't watch the rest of this LP. Because that's about all it's going to be. Is minigames. And this is the Hide and Seek with Zeke. Get it? Hide and Seek. And all the characters have stupid names like this. That are based off their game. And how you do it basically is you have to... No need for beads anymore. So I know where they're all at. All the... All the, uh, Zeeks. There's another one. It also, it helps to memorize where they're all at. Unfortunately, I'm too stupid for that. Yeah, this is all you do basically is you go back to levels and you look for them. There's one right there. And as you can see, there's a little wall of where it ends. Meaning the last C had missed. And we need to go to looks for since I think he's down here. There he is. And I have to admit, this is one of the hardest things in the game. But as a prize, you always get... Uh... Okay. You also get a, uh... Fabric every single level you do. I don't even know what that is. It's the uh, blue sky one. Oh yeah, now you gotta help him unlock the second floor, which has more rooms like Zeke's, but we're gonna do all the Zeke's stuff and get it out of the way. Now Rainbow Falls, which I don't... Oh no, no, Rainbow Falls isn't the one with the penguin thing. Well, it is, but... This one isn't. I actually think there's one level that's a vehicle level you do on foot just to find someone or something. There's one. Also, don't use this, don't use this as a tutorial. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just doing this blind, sort of. I know I did them all back in my first time playing this game, but I half-assed it and didn't memorize them. Because normally when I play a game, I usually memorize it. Well, this is this is different. I actually played this game before I started LPing, so I didn't think of memorizing any of it. Like when I play like uh, my new games, I always memorize what I'm doing. Also, I think these levels get ridiculously difficult at like, this other point in the game. Then after you've found them for the first time, it's really easy to go to the same areas. Okay. That was entertaining, just killing Waddle Dee is like crazy. You know what, I'm just gonna expand the apartment building because I don't really give a shit. Rainbow. I'm just gonna leave real quick and do that little thingy majet me thing or big jagger he wants me to do. Well that's all my beads right there.
And there we have it. That is what happens when you increase the apartment building. But we're not gonna worry about that right now because we still have to do Zeke's levels. And Zeke's levels are a pain in the ass. Ash. Ash. That's not like the angry video game nerd. Ass. Oh, you didn't just choose the hardest level of the game to do this in. Ugh. Okay. That's right there. Also, this is like one of the shortest levels, so it doesn't really matter. I've already found four of them. What? They're all in the same area? What? Oh, that was easy. That was a lot easier than most of them. What we get? We got that. A pyramid sands hide and seek, which should be pretty easy. Pyramid Sands, last time I checked, was a pretty easy level. If it's the one I think it is. This is the first one of uh, Hotland, isn't it? Yeah. And also, considering we're doing a Hotland level, you notice it progresses at the same rate the game does. Or the same levels the game does, whatever. Same order the game does. You do a variety of levels in order. And, uh, yeah, now we're in Hotland doing it now. So that's a short way of saying things. Now we're in Hotland. Also, money bags. A brand new hide and seek stage. That was the weirdest voice I'd ever done. And I don't like that pattern, but we're gonna go with it. And I'm not quite sure how many levels he has available. We're at Cool Cave, that'll tell you how far we are. We're about halfway through his levels. Not even not even halfway, there's only like there's uh Seven levels in this game? Yeah, there's seven levels in this game. We were on the second. Still. Oh, hey, there's one. Yo. Yo. Yeeky. Yo, Yeeky. Come on, Yeah, I'm actually gonna not stop this episode until I find all the Zeeks. Because, uh. Also, no treasures. Except he's still here. Far and old Kruganator is still here. How long was he there? Because I didn't notice him. He must be here, like hiding behind the rocks or something. Because that's another thing with Z, because he can actually go behind background stuff, which gets to be a pain in the ass after a while when levels have a lot of background design. Also, just a little note to Nintendo, those little party ball things. Just gonna make a point saying we don't actually use those things in America. Just saying, we use pinatas. I think I hit a cable. With my foot. No, I didn't. If anything, I think I fixed the quality. Finding Zeke in a non-existent area of flower fields. Weird. Also, we're back in World 1 for some reason. 
So I guess this isn't ordered in game order. Sword is one down here somewhere. There's one right here. I should have watched Slim Kirby's LP of this. Part. Because I know Slim Kirby did this game. And Slim Kirby is mostly for tutorial, not for, uh... The entertainment of watching. Jeez, you got quite distance at this level. And considering that was the fourth one, heaven knows. Oh, there's the fifth one. Heaven knows what the fifth one is. Oh, there it is. And that was it! <laughs> that was pretty simple. I swear to god he's the gayest character in the game. Oh, now we're in a dinosaur level. It's exactly the same as the flower level, just with dinosaurs instead. I better could see those two giant T-Rex things again. Goo! Remember it's taking a lot longer. Oh, hey. I love those little things. It was adorable, I have to admit. You're like, what you looking at? I'm not down here. They can't see me. I don't exist. What's existing? Oh, that would help if you didn't just freaking scroll up and down. Oh, hey. I'm just gonna say I'm trying to play this game in a hurry now because I want to get it over with and get into my next LP. Also, just to make a point, if you miss one of the first ones, which I think I did, you're gonna have a bad time. Come on! Thank you! This is the way we're doing things. Wait. Also, the time is extremely generous with this. I know it gets harder as you go. The time gets less generous. But it's extremely generous. Even when you're halfway through. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Houston, we have a problem. I'm going to hurriedly rush back. I just managed to do. I don't know how I did that, but I did. And we have 41 seconds to find him. Hey, there he is. <laughs> that was more simple than it should have been. And this will be a 25-minute episode, probably, because it's a lot of levels for freaking Zeke. If I remember correctly, he actually has, like, 20 levels. <sighs> this is Toy Tracks. Yeah, we're about halfway through now. I don't think he actually goes to Dreamland with his missions of death, doom, and destruction. Oh no. Oh no. This is gonna be a hard one. I'm not excited, just for the record.
Oh, there's one right there. You dick. Let me kill my waddle dee. Okay, Zeke is proven to be an asshole. So, this is gonna be a hard level to do. This would be hilarious if I had. Uh, regret not holding on to this episode for a while, because I'm like a hundred episodes ahead with recordings. What do we got here? Three out of five. That's good. Is there one up there? I swear, let's hear this. Hardest one ever. I don't care what anyone has to say. Beat that. I just beat your wild you up to death. Come on. Give me your little pink block of death. Also, the last seek shouldn't be this hard to find. Is? I don't know why I can't find him. Oh, it's duh. It would help if you pulled this car back. To discover he's not actually behind it. Let's start playing a total dick move, but I'm just dumbass. I didn't consider that. Oh no. Gotta consider dick moves when you play this. Oh. I wasn't even trying. I just hit the one button and the freaking got him. I didn't even know where he was. That may or may not have been bullshit. And we'll do one more Zeke level, and that'll be the end of it for this episode. And recording session, possibly. Oh, we got the toy tracks theme. That's cool. Oh, what? He has to choose all the hard levels to be in. Why? Why do you do this? Why you do this, darling? Why you do this? Not there. Whose idea was this? Of all the areas of the game that I don't want to do this in, it's this one. Even with this fancy music. I saw him. Oh, I didn't see it. Freaking mushrooms, I swear. They freaking transform into him at this point. Oh, shit, there he is. This level's a pain in the ass. Two freaking mushroom one is your level. What the hell? Could have at least chose, like, freaking. I don't know. Freaking. Not this. Is that a level? I wasn't even trying to land. Why am I pressing down? Why am I pressing down for? But anyways, I wasn't even trying to land on one of these things. And I still don't get why this is a level in Treat Land. Although I have to admit, there's no other level this would fit in. Maybe, maybe, maybe the garden themed world. This would look perfect, but it's a little difficult for that world. I mean, it doesn't just hand you stuff like the other ones do. And that's it. That is the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you didn't... Uh, I don't know. You didn't. That was indeed an outro. What you got for us? Oh, look, it's a mushroom run theme. 
And I will see you guys in the next episode. Where we will... Oh, shit. Good thing that was empty. Where we will... Freaking... I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe we'll complete Zeke's level. Maybe we'll not.